Now, we continue. These two are the next area. So there's this bit. And there's this bit. How do we get there? So there's that part. And then, like, the kind of final, final part is this stuff here. There's still some things missing, like this settlement here. Uh, the Lamenter's Jail. I still don't have a key for that. Not sure where that key comes from. Um, so we'll see. Don't know if killing Leda has changed anything in the story. Like, considering how much I've explored and how many things I've done, my NPC stuff is pretty weak. Like, I haven't progressed anything. So it was just completely not interested in anything. <sighs> yeah, there's just some, I looked at this before. There's just something going on with this that I I don't know what it is at the moment. I've not been able to figure out how to get to that. Since this, again, it feels like it's so far down, but then when you come to this level, it's like it's it's lower than this, but higher than this. But I don't think there's a way through from like here to that bit. Castle watering hole. I just hate that this is like these two have nothing to do with this entire area. It just doesn't feel right. <sighs> yeah, this is the one part of the, the keep that I've really struggled with. I don't know if, again, it's just like one little ladder thing that you haven't done. And as a result, you miss out on another whole section or... Yeah, there has to be an exit out onto here. One of these floors must have an exit that takes you to this bit. That there can't be any other. It can't be anything else other than that. I think it must be. Yeah. So every floor, what I'm going to try and do is basically get to the equivalent of this point on the map, and see if there's a way out. That's generally going to be the plan. I ha I have to imagine one of them is going to give me a way out. Yeah, I'm increasingly thinking it's it's something lower level. You can see like a roof here. If you look up, can't really see much. Okay, found that at least. So far at least, um, I've been descending. And just every time I come up towards... Um, I've been kind of looking across to see if I can find something. Now, there is an item there. I need to have a better look at this. Honestly, I might just scope it out. Might give me what I need here. Doesn't look like it. Yes, there's an item there, but doesn't look a way out. Maybe there? Let's try and get down there. I think we had two fire knights here, so I generally wasn't that big a fan of doing it. Oh, nice. That's a good find. Um, good find indeed, but this is where I, this is what I needed. Yeah, it's just like I feel like this is like this is the door. I need to get through this place. It has to be. Then it makes me think maybe this opens from the other side. 
Like, this is literally the path. I'm just like, what do you want from me? Is it a lever that opens this door somehow? What is the deal? Yeah, it would be annoying if it's some shitty little lever that I haven't seen among like a billion floors worth of stuff. But that door just seems to... I wish there was another message or two where it was like, try this or try that. Because it just seems too... Like, that's the, that's the place. So yeah, that's why I'm generally stuck on this bit. Fine, let's applaud it. Um... So if I come up to here, I can see like a lift thing, but just, I've never I've never been able to see the lift from any other part of the keep. It's been really frustrating. Is this somewhere new? No, it probably isn't. Wait a minute, it is. Oh my god. This was the spot. It has to be leading to something. Maybe it's just a shortcut, honestly, after all this. If this has nothing to do with it, then I think I'm going to Google it. This is my last try. I've been looking for this lift for ages. It's the last roll of the dice for exploration here. I have a feeling it might not actually help, but... <laughs> Maybe it does, I don't know. I really hope so. I think, yes, this is the other side of that stupid door. <laughs> That's so annoying, but I still think we found it. Whew. Yep. Basically, for me, like that part of it was all about ascending to the absolute top, and we did get something for making all the way to the top, so I thought we were finished. Turns out we were not. So one of the final, final major areas to explore coming up. Let's do it. Maybe even a remembrance boss, we'll see. Right, let's pop a rune or two. Yeah, we've got some more powerful runes now. What? That was like some weird as if I knew what I was doing and I'm speed running the game. Okay. So, let's start with this part, and then we have something here too. Let's just grab this, actually. This isn't a root, I think. It's just an item. Although there are bloodstains, but... Ah. Okay. I'm not sure what people have triggered off and died to in here, but... There must be something immediately here. Skate of you. Yeah. That's what it is. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, at least we get uh, to do this. Commander Gaius. Oh, my God. So, yeah, he's got all the tricks to knock you off your horse, of course. No hits yet. First hit. Uh, 
Ah. Obviously, once I get knocked off my horse, then I'm in big danger. Uh, that move is a bit unfair. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Honestly, I might be better off like this. Dodge that. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, I don't have the poise to pull off the rest of the move. Okay. I think we've been getting through bosses a little too easy, but that armor is epic. I want to try and go for something a little. I want to try and give this a proper fight. Um, let's see. I don't want this really lightweight, crappy armor. Yeah, we need to change up our whole situation here. Um, Right, what's the tool for the job here? I want to obviously knock him off his horse, realistically speaking. Got what my physic did. Let's double check. Yeah, don't need that anymore. Uh, let's see. Pop it. Get going. I, I literally roll past that. Yeah, that combo is enormous. Again, I swear I dodged that. They've been a bit mean with that. Yeah, th he's got like... You can literally tell from the look of the armor. It's like hyper... Hyper heavy. Yeah. yeah, that entire combo there, that like once that starts to hit you, you're in trouble. So for anyone that's been thinking, yeah, he's getting through the boss too easily, I don't like it. Here's, here's your uh, death compilation for a little while. Let's find out if uh, if this guy bleeds. Yeah, I don't know how that works. I literally rolled beyond him. Get one bleeding, mate. Ah. So if I did that much damage with no bleed proc, that's you must have some resistance. If I can get that armor, I feel like that's going to be like the daddy, in terms of like poise and just overall. It's going to be the upgrade to this one, basically. For now, I just want to see if I can get any bleed on there. 
I do think Blasphemy Blade is a, is a good one for this guy if I really start to struggle. How did those swipes miss? Those swipes should not have missed. There you go. Yeah, that one at least buys me a little bit of time I can heal afterwards. Hope he thinks he's Radon. Okay. Hey, what? How? What kind of hitboxes are these? Yeah, that one I'm guaranteed to get hit by. Let's see. I think close quarters here is not going to be possible. In the second form, he just moves around too much. Yeah, and he's not letting you go on horseback either, he's just locking onto you. Yeah. So he's saying, nope, you think you can use a horseback, you can't. Sorry, dude. Like, there's no way Torrent's evading any of that. I can't even land a hit. Yeah. So he's not having that. He's just saying nope. Oh, I just faded that. That combo, can't deal with it. So his second form is horrible. And he looks very highly scaled to me. Okay, no sign of any um, knocking off of that horse yet. Yeah, I'm gonna save my physic for the second half. Yeah, just like leaving myself there so I can just do this. God damn it. Ah, uh, yeah, the, the dodge boxes are a bit stupid for this one. Honestly, wondering if it's a, a shield and poke fight. The last time we had something like this was basically kind of like the hippo. But first of all, I want to see if I can just stagger him. It feels like it's going to take a lot. Oh, that back kick is horrible. The, the range is shorter than it looks for that. So, yeah, I don't think you're you're making him fall off. And that one's a hit every time. Yeah, 
Yeah, so I dodge and I can't hit. And that one is an entire health bar. Like that combo, if you get hit by a decent chunk of it, it's. Uh, yeah. This guy is very tough. I think this might have to. This this is going to have to be a boss in which I utilize some of my other abilities. Uh, Dodge like one. So for now, at least, I'm trying to refrain from using what I believe are probably the two easiest ways to beat him. One is uh, Blasphemy Blade and the other is Shield and Poke. So I'm going to leave those for now. We haven't had a good, solid, like, difficult 20, 30, 50 try battle in some time. So I'm just trying to engage with it. Yeah, that one is impossible. Once you've been hit by the first one. Do you want to see the Scarlet Rot slash... Nice tongue there. Thanks for that. Um, poison slash Scarlet Rot potential without throwing pots. But the damage is really significant here. See what I mean? Like, what? How did I lose like 40% of my health bar? Are you kidding me? What the fuck? That doesn't normally happen. That's a bullshit. So the poison went up. The poison always goes on more quickly. I think they've tried to make the, the enemies resistant to Scarlet Rot as much as they can. Realistically. How's my rock pot situation? There is no situation. There's no rock pots. Um, yeah, I can make massive ones, but I guess they're like a different type. So, but I'd probably still need two of them to make it work. Okay, maybe we can kind of poke it enough while we're on horseback here. Come on! Yeah, it's already too late. It's already too late. Like those ones, I don't know how you dodge. No, I can't. I can't do it on horseback. won't let you. Total of like two hits there on horseback. Good job. It's kind of funny because this is like tree sentinel all over again. I'll take that hit. So we've done all this damage, still no sign of Scarlet Rot. Again, we'll take the hit. Yeah, once you start dodging the first few of them, it's not so bad. There's a the Scarlet Rock. Let me... Ah! No, 
No, it just won't let me. <laughs> just won't let me. <sighs> Finally see what I'm doing. He's going to get you in the end on horseback, there's no way. It's very hard to get a hit in on him. <laughs> This is death. Yep. Yeah, those second phase moves are just horrific. It's like you're screwed if you're on horseback, you're screwed if you're not. I think there's a lot of like tactical mounting and dismounting you probably have to do to get it right, but yeah, troublesome. That's got to be Scarlet Rot at this stage. It's just got to be. Why is it not Scarlet Rot, man? You've taken a billion damage. Just want to give it the, the Scarlet Rot and then just start smacking it with the Colossal Weapon and seeing if I can make it drop. Okay, just got stuck on some random stuff. Again. Completely clip through there. Oh. Oh. Yeah, in general, big, like, hyper aggressive enemies are my weakness. I, I things that are this size. Again, it's another one with that big hitbox that I mentioned. Like the the creature is so wide that like when it charges towards you, the hitbox is enormous, and um, I just don't know how you deal with that. Like I can't time my dodges with that, and it's just constantly charging at you or swiping at you or being aggressive or taking forty percent of your health bar. Like I I don't know. That's why I can't beat these guys without some kind of cheese. I'm just not good enough at understanding how you're supposed to dodge him. Like those I wish were hits, but they're just not. I uh, just can't make him fall. in some other direction. Like here, the Blasting Blade would already be doing its job. Ah, I dodged that. Nine times out of ten when I heal, I'm getting hit as well. How is that not a dodge?
How is that not a hit? Like, everything is just... He's managing to hit me, but I can't hit him. I have no choice, otherwise I'm going to die. Always something. Always something. <laughs> Look at this, like, tracking. That's so stupid. Yeah, you can't, like, when it when that happens, you can't outdo it on horseback. Yeah, you cheap fucker. You make it like a horseback fight, and then you just make it impossible for people to use their horse. <sighs> Fuck you. Nah, no time for games here. He's killed me enough times to make the point that this DLC is still very hard. If you want to challenge yourself hardcore style, you go right ahead and do that. I'm going to fuck this guy up by other means. Take the hit. How did that not do any damage? This guy is just trolling me now. No damage again. That's better. At least now we know. Okay. I could tell from the first one missing that that wasn't going to be it, but... Let me change my setup here, prepare a little bit for Blasphemy Flame. Because he's damaging me so often as well. Like the heals I get from uh, Taker's Flame is definitely going to be useful. So, let's prep. Get my big hat on. That already helps. Um, Okay, once the big hat comes on, you know I mean business. Take this. Take that. Okay. Now this first hit needs to work. No, I just mistimed it, so I need to get used to timing that. And he got away with it again, he only took the first part of it. That's what should have happened. But as with any strategy, really, at this level, you still need some level of dodging to be able to pull it off. And that's why I'm going to still probably die on this attempt anyway. before he jumps up. Ah, you bastard. Take that hit. Oh, God's sake. The trade there. Leaves me no choice but to just trade with him half the time. Look at this, like, how is anyone supposed to dodge that move? <laughs> what is going on? What is this guy doing? Who does he think he is? 
Good lordy. I know I didn't have FP, but I thought I'd still get the big hit anyway. Ah. Uh, yeah, so with the Blasphemy Blade immediately, we had a much better run. I think this is the way to do it. We still had one more Cerulean. He just went a bit nuts in that uh, sequence where he had the gravity well. I didn't realize it stays out there. I thought once you dodge it initially, or like you get hit by it one time, then you're good. But it's like a prolonged pain. But this helps me do some good early damage as well. Okay. This time, let's see if we can time it. Quick. That's cheap. No. I'm not going to give up like a, a thing for that. So, basically, they won't let you damage him the first time. That's no. I'm not adding this to the deaths because... So, they give him an invincibility during that charge. I feel like if I was to time it later on, like, as in if it does done a charge in the future, and I did that, it would be fine. It's just that first one, it gives it like a hyper... It gives it like an immunity, basically. A bit unfair. We don't play that, so let's sort this out properly. Alright, let's do it. So we're going to have to take the hit, basically, here. I've dodged it once or twice, but... I pressed... I'm happy to trade with him here. No, he's always just got to move to clean, knock me off. Every time I use a flask, I basically take a hit. I can't escape that. Let's go in for that combo again. Fuck you. I've used it twice already. Uh. Yeah, you basically just go through it. There's no logic to that dodge, but that's how it works. Oh, come on. Those delays are nasty. Wow, well timed jump. Okay, dodge that combo. Ah, oh, that's what I've been doing all along. It's been working. Ah, uh, he's been getting some lucky dodges himself, honestly. I hate that move. I hate that move, I really do. Nah. I hate that move. It's this really stupidly OP gravity well that sticks around and then explodes at the end as well. It's like, that's cheap, man. That's bullshit. Got a few lucky dodges in as well. Screw that guy. He's going down. Okay. Yeah, so I'm starting to learn that better. Ah, didn't have the poise. Yeah, we'll take that.
I'm pr I tapped circle at least twice before that contact was made. At least twice. I swear to God. Okay. Definitely getting a little better at dodging that one. Ah, speaking of dodging. Okay, that's not so bad. Getting away from there. Okay, that's fine. Fine. I'll let you have that too. And he's always got the next move. God. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, so sometimes, depending on the timing of that, they just won't give you it. It's kind of unfair, I think. Oh, that's enough! Enough! That's enough. Big boy pants on for the rest. That's okay. Yeah, had to had to make sure I dodged the final hit or two of that combo, or I was in big trouble. Oh, it's a remembrance. Wow. Okay. I was not expecting that. But yeah, another bad matchup for me. Those ones, I just... I find them very difficult to take on, like, completely straight up. Let's say with, I don't know, a twin blade or something like that. Yeah, beyond my reach for now. But thankfully, with these, uh, with these kind of tools, I can still stay in the game and continue to make progress. So, two more remembrances. Surely those final two remembrances are in uh, the final bit. Gotta be. 